getting made, baby. Woo! We're here at Ranch 99 Market to buy some trout. We're gonna be doing a caught versus bought catch and cook challenge. So we're here at the market, we're gonna buy some trout. We caught some trout the other day at Santa Ana River Lakes. We're gonna cook them side by side and see which one tastes the best. Let's go get made. All right, anglers, we got our bot trout and we already have our caught trout at the house. So, man, this is $9.91, $7.99 a pound. We got a chunky one. I can already tell ours might be a little bit better, but we're gonna let our taste buds do the judging. Catch you back at the crib. There it is, anglers. This is the rainbow trout. $9.91 got us this guy. I don't know how much he weighs, but I didn't look, but there's the color of the meat. That's what the meat looks like. Um, the color of the rainbow trout itself, you could tell it's just kind of just gray. It doesn't really look like the trout we catch. Again, this is the store-bought trout from Ranch 99 Market, um, $7.99 a pound. It costs us $9.91 for this trout. We're gonna go ahead and fillet this trout right now. And then we got our other fillets from Santa Ana River Lake that we did the other day, and we're gonna cook them side by side, the same seasoning, and we're gonna see which one tastes the best. All right, anglers, this is our store-bought trout, and this is our local lake caught trout. Uh, we have the store-bought on the right, caught trout on the left. You could tell the difference in the pig and the meat. The pinker the meat, apparently it's supposed to taste better, so we'll see, we're gonna spice these up a little bit, evenly the same, and then we're gonna throw them on the frying pan. Here are the spices that I use, just some lemon pepper, some rainbow peppercorn, some Himalayan pink salt, some 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's, and some uh, little spice rub. There we have it, Anglers, we have both fillets spiced up, sprinkled up with the same exact seasoning that I just showed you. So let's go ahead, get these in the frying pan. Let's get cooking, let's get made. Now we're cooking, anglers, now we're cooking. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. We want that skin to, to crackle up, to to get a little crispy on the bottom before you flip it. You should um, probably leave it on each side three to four minutes, just depends. I like mine a little, little done, but if it starts sticking to the pan, like this one, you're pretty much ready. Well, the skin came off. <laughs> That's the uh, store-bought. And that right there that we just flipped was our cot. We caught that fish. So I don't know if that's a big difference right there. The skin came off, that just means it's done. I don't know, that's a little, I chose the same thickness of pieces so we can get it evenly cooked at the same time. We're looking pretty good right now. We're almost, I think almost done, pretty done. There's our store-bought, and there's our lake cot. A 
Look who's waiting. <laughs> Look who's waiting for some trout. You want some trout, Cincy? You want some trout, huh? Huh? She's camera shy. You want some trout? Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get you some trout, okay? We, I gotta taste it first. I gotta taste it first, okay? Here it is, anglers. There you have it. The bot versus cot. We just bought this trout, okay, over at Ranch 99 Market, fresh on ice. We caught this trout just a couple days ago, and it's been filleted in our fridge. We sprinkled them, seasoned it up, sprinkle me, sprinkle me, with the same seasoning. That way, we get the most complete taste test. Is it Coke? Is it Pepsi? I don't know. Is it Cot or Bot? It's like the Pepsi challenge, man. Pepsi or Coke? I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a Pepsi guy myself. They look pretty good, man. I, I gotta say, I am partial to the pink meat. I do love salmon as well, but we know that is just um, artificial coloring that's in their food that makes them pink. But I am partial to it. So again, this is our store-bought trout, and this is our lake caught trout. Well, I don't know if you could call Santa Ana River Lakes a lake, but. We caught it, damn right we caught it. So let's dig in and take a bite of each and see which one tastes best. I'm gonna go for the store-bought first. Oh, there's all the pin bones in there. All right, we're gonna go store-bought first. Mm. Got those pin bones in there, you know? You gotta watch the bones. All right. All right, that was okay. That was decent. Even with the seasoning, the fish itself, very bland. Um, I think I might've cooked it too much. It was a little dry. But let's check out our caught trout, the trout we caught. Let's take a bite of that. Oh, flaky. Got one little pin bone there. Get that sucker out the way. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The fish we caught tastes way better. There is, it's not a fishy taste, but it, there's some taste there. You know what I'm saying? It's also more moist. We cooked them the same amount of time. The pieces are about the same size and thickness. The trout we caught is definitely more moist, more, uh, more savory if you may. <laughs> I'm going to take a couple more bites, anglers. I hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook video, man. We did the store bot versus the self caught. <laughs> That's right. We caught this trout and it definitely, definitely tastes better. So if you're looking for trout, skip that supermarket, grab your fishing rod and get made. Mm, way better mm -hmm. my name is mike this is trout made angler company man we're getting made with the catch and cook store bot versus self cot thank you guys for watching man i'm out